Oh, who are the favourites? Very quickly, go. <laughs> Your life depends on it. Whoa. South Africa. Matt? Uh, well, look, I, I, I think beginning of the tournament, yes, but I think New Zealand are in some really good form. Uh, it's going to be so close, okay. so close. Ian? I think South Africa would be favourites, but I really hope New Zealand win because if South Africa win, everyone's going to look at them and go, that's how we should play. We need to have a bigger, stronger, more powerful team um, who kicks the ball a lot. Yeah. And that's every other professional team is going to think that every school team, every yep. club team. And in my opinion, that's not good for rugby. We want to have teams seeing the space, beating guys one-on-one -on -one with footwork, you know, a passing game, the way Ireland play it. I know I'm a purist when I'm, when I'm saying it, but this business of running over guys, going to the power game, I don't want to see, you know, the Senior Cup this year. Yeah. In, I think it, we saw it from South Africa last week, to be fair. Do you not think? I think it's only off turnover ball yeah. is when they play. Because they exert so much pressure on the yeah. opposition. Yeah. Yeah. And they just, their defence is out of this world. Is their defence yeah. not to be admired? It is. The defence is absolutely it's, to But be it's, it's also and, great to watch. And, yeah. Yeah. and attacking against their defence is exhausting. And that's a big thing that we've seen from this World Cup. And hard. That sometimes you're actually better off without the ball because it's so tiring attacking against those could kind I, of defences. Um, could I ask a question though? Four years ago, South Africa scrummed England to death won the World Cup. And to your point, in the four years since, we've seen attacking style rugby flourish. Ireland, France, any number of countries. It's not like everybody took their lead from South Africa, interestingly. In a way, but they, they did, we have seen the box kicking game from that 2019 World Cup dominate the game over the next, over the, 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 the preceding four yeah. years. Yeah, we've, we've seen a, a lot of different styles of rugby. Yeah. Um, and it, I think if you're to take the four best teams in the world at the moment, you take South Africa, by far the best defensive rugby team in the world. Take Ireland, the best phase attack rugby in the world. Take New Zealand, the best counter attack turnover rugby in the world. And then take France, who are the second best at all three of those things. Great point. Yeah, I like that. Um, yeah. And it just shows now that. Now, listen, I know those games were so tight. The quarterfinal was so tight. Tonight was so tight. All in, all in South Africa was so tight. S so tight. Mm. But defences are always going to be the top, top of the food chain there. Mm. And New Zealand, in terms of what they can do, their ability to score a try out of nothing has got them into another World Cup final. And if you follow your point, Robbie, if we look back on history, uh, the two games that... Uh, recent games, South Africa, New Zealand, in Christchurch. I've said it before, I'll say it again. The first 20 minutes of that game, New Zealand played at an extraordinary pace and scored mm. 18 points in mm. the first 20 minutes because their breakdown work and their accuracy and their passing game, the flatness of their play, yeah. it's brilliant. Then we go to Twickenham. Now, I know there were some yellow and red cards involved at Twickenham. The power game of South Africa comes in and their defence, New Zealand didn't even look like it. So, again... We're talking cigarette papers between these teams. Yeah. So, the 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 point I think Robbie's making, and I'd make too, when teams have played fast and got passes in, Australia beat them in Adelaide, Ireland have beaten them twice, and New Zealand have beaten them twice. Mm. The pace of the ruck ball is absolutely electric because that nullifies the defence. Yeah. If you have slow ball, which you had tonight because of the weather and a few things. Man, they're hard to beat. There is another interesting aspect as well, Ian, though, in this knockout tournament rugby. We're seeing uh, Ireland, New Zealand. New Zealand let Ireland have a lot of the ball and, and it was very much built on defence. We saw South Africa let France do a lot of the hard running last week. And then this week, um, again, England troubles South Africa, kind of reductive cup rugby. There is that kind of interesting thing where the attacking teams find it harder to do it under the most extreme pressure and South Africa, like Granite, are kind of almost there. It's, it's easier for them to execute their more limited game plan under this kind of pressure. Yeah, it is. Like the, the stats speak for themselves mm. from last week. You know, you, you look, I think South Africa had 82 passes, France had 153. Yeah. You know, it's, it, it, it's clear as day that they don't want to have the ball and certainly not in, in, in areas in their own half. Um, and England forced them to do that tonight. And mm. it'd be interesting to see if, if New Zealand adopted a similar tactic. We've seen their kicking game throughout this competition, arguably 
you know, they're the, probably the most varied kicking mm. that we, you know, between their chip kicks, the crossfield kicks, their ability to go to the air. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see if they take them on there. And I think if they do, they they could get good result out of it. Yeah. But you're all saying this is flip of a coin stuff. This is really well, tight. Well, I think I think the last two quarterfinals, uh, when these top four teams play each other, yeah. and now now we, the we said the two, the teams from Ireland's half of the draw would make the final. That's it's turned out to be correct. Mm. Whenever those four teams play each other, there's nothing in it. Yeah. And and all the results have proved that. France, France, New Zealand. So we're going to have two teams who've made the final. I wonder if this is the first time. Two teams who've made the final who've oh, lost France. a game. Mm. Big thing is going to be how, how, how the scrum is refed in the final. Like Wayne Barnes perceived that Andrew Porter was doing something illegal. <clears throat> yeah. But at least in this final, you'll have parity at the scrums because they're both world-class scrummaging teams. I don't think we're going to see the same difference in terms of, of, of nice. scrummaging ability. I hope we don't. And if you're New Zealanders, what, what's your breakfast next morning? 1995 all over again. Next, <laughs> next in Paris, check your cornflakes in Paris. We'd like to distance ourselves from that comment. Uh, we don't know this guy. We have talked <laughs> enough yeah. about scrums for one lifetime. 